Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online and how to become a work from home freelancer. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can send and create an invoice in PayPal in 2023. So if you are working as a freelancer and someone is trying to hire you for your services, you can send them an invoice that they can either pay with their own PayPal account or they can use their credit card. So the first thing you're going to do is log into paypal.com and then you're going to click here on invoicing. So under invoicing, you have a history of past invoices. They will show you if they are paid or not, or if they are pending. And to create a new invoice, just click here on create invoice. So first of all, you have bill to, and we can bill a single customer or bill multiple customers. And you have the option to put in the name or the email address. You can also click on add new customer if you want to put in more information about the customer. So here you can fill out the address, who to bill to, but you don't have to fill out all the information, only use the information that you have. Then scroll to the bottom and click save. Now in my case, I am offering a digital service, so I'm going to unselect items will be shipped. If you don't have an email, that's also okay. You can just put in the name of the customer and then you can draft a link that you can send to the client later on. So make sure to select the correct currency that you want them to pay you in. So we're going to scroll down and click here on item name. So for example, let's say you are creating a video for someone. So put in what the item is and then put in the amount that you want the client to pay you. You can also put in multiple items if you want by clicking add item or service. Over here, you can select allow partial payment. And this is a great option, for example, if your client wants to pay you 50% in advance. Sometimes my clients will pay the entire invoice in advance, but other clients prefer to pay 50%. So you can set a minimum amount due. In this case, let's set $500. You can also click allow tip to give someone the option to pay you more than what you agreed on. Let's say they were very happy with your services. There's also a spot here which allows you to leave a message to the customer. Maybe you will write something like, thank you for your business. You can also add terms and conditions, can add a reference number, and then click here on more options. You can add an attachment and even include a memo to yourself. Here you can put in the invoice number, your invoice date, and then the due date. So you can put that it's due on receipt, no due date, or on a specific date. I'm going to leave it as due on receipt. At the top here, you can click preview, and this will show you what your invoice will look like. You can see here that I have added a logo, and I'll show you how you can do that as well. So when the client receives this invoice, they'll have the option to pay the full amount or to pay another amount. So you can see that we set the minimum due amount of $500. And if your client does not have a PayPal account, they can pay with their credit card as well. And PayPal is an excellent way for clients to feel comfortable paying you because they do have payment protection. You can click here on edit invoice if you need to make any changes. And let's say you want to add your logo. You can click here and add remove logo and then add a new one. Or click edit business info if you want to change any of your own business info. So if you have put in an email, you can just click send and PayPal will send that invoice to your client. But alternatively, you can click here on more actions and click share link to invoice. And what this allows you to do is have a direct invoice that you can send or email to your client to make sure they get it, especially if they don't provide you with a billing email because sometimes different departments handle the payment of bills. So I almost always just click copy link and you can see here that the link has been shared. So then you can just copy this link and email it to your customer. So your client will receive an invoice that looks like this. And once the invoice has been paid, you will see paid or you'll see that it has been partially paid. And if you would like to print an invoice for your records, for your tax records, just click here on the icon beside the invoice and you can click download PDF or you can click print and that will allow you to print the invoice for your own records. And for an example of the fees that PayPal charges for sending invoices, 
You can see here that I sent an invoice for $200 and the PayPal transaction fee was $8 for that $200. So my net amount that I received of the 200 US dollars was $101.90. So it's just that simple to create and send an invoice using PayPal. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. You can click in the description below for other related tutorials. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.